Welcome back, and now we have Brendan Donnellan. Brendan is our assistant box office manager. We're going to have a little box office banter, and he's going to answer all the questions we ever had about our subscription, renewal, and seating process. Welcome, Brendan. Hi, Lisa. How are you today? Awesome. Good. So I know things are buzzing down there in the box office. Oh, yeah. We've been busy. (laughs) Definitely busy. Which is a great thing. Oh, I see. It keeps the day moving, at the very least, and, you know, we've had the great performances of Les Mis this week. So that, on top of everything else, has been (laughs) time-consuming. Right, but you know what? We also announced our whole 2013-14 Broadway subscription series. So that's probably added to the magnitude of what everybody in the box office is dealing with. That definitely has. We have gotten a lot of inquiries on how do I get my seats? How do I, I'm a new subscriber, how do I you know, become a subscriber, what's the difference between subscriptions and membership, and all the the usual (laughs) this time of year questions. So let's take it one step at a time. So first of all, if you're a subscriber and you need to renew your subscription, you've been through this process before, chances are, although we got a lot of new subscribers last year. So what are you telling the renewing subscribers? Renewing subscribers, we just inform them that the invoices uh, are in the mail. Well, uh, they should be receiving them shortly. Hopefully, they're excited about this upcoming lineup. Um, if they want to keep everything the same, the same seats, the same package that they have, just fill out the order form, mail it in, and we'll take care of it for them. So let's start with what the lineup is, because, of course, we've got our big show, Jersey Boys. That's right. And that's playing January 21st through February 2nd, 2014, obviously. So the question that I know people have asked me is, oh, that's two weeks. Which performances are the subscription performances? It's the first weekend, right? That's correct, yes. Right. The so first it's weekend. The, it's the first weekend, that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but they have the option for so much more. So if you're a subscriber, and let's say your subscription is in the upper balcony because you're on a budget and you want to make sure that you're enjoying as much as you can, what are your options for Jersey Boys? Well, once we begin, once the subscription process and we've seated all our new subscribers, everything in turn will be opened up for subscribers to make exchanges. So obviously, as in years past, we don't expect you to know your schedule, you know, spring of 2014. Call us. We'll take a look. We'll see what we've got available on a show by show as we can, you know, uh, exchanges if per se, you do buy Upper Balcony and you've got the first weekend, but you know you can't make it, we can take a look at the following weekend, which is going to be wide open because it's only available for subscription uh, exchanges. Right now, until we go on sale, which won't be for a while. We haven't even announced those days yet. But you know, what if you also want to bring a whole group with you, but you want to sit together? So you probably won't be able to sit together in your subscription seats, right? That's correct. I mean, there is a chance that everything around you is also filled by subscribers. Again, with something like Jersey Boys, we've got a two-week run. We can easily take a look at all the alternate performances and possibly move you to better or improve your seating for that one and get a whole group of you all together. So what's really cool is if you're a subscriber and you're a total Frankie Valley Four Seasons junkie and you want to be in the front row, probably it's a pretty good chance that as long as you follow our schedule that's on our website in the brochure, you'll be able to exchange into another performance, add seats around you, and Brendan and Brian, the whole team over there in the box office will be able to help you with that. That's correct. How many people tend to do that? Um, a, a good number of our subscribers, if not uh, exchanging their seats, adding on um, you know, exchanging just because they're giving them away to somebody, you know, a friend or family member who might enjoy the show more or fits into their schedule, but not yours. So it, it's a very commonplace. So the world is your oyster when it comes to Frankie Valley and the Jersey Boys there. Well, not the original Frankie Valley. We already had him. Now oh, we're yes. on to the award-winning Broadway <laughs> show. We were laughing about that, everybody on the way over, when we had Frankie Valley, the original Jersey Boy at the theater. But boy, this musical is super popular. So our subscribers are going to be able to choose pretty much any performance, almost any location, and they'll have that access first before anybody else. Now, we have a whole great award-winning season besides just the Jersey Boys. 
Let's go through the lineup. Okay. Okay, so the first one, and it is a change in dates from what people are going to see in the brochures that were mailed. You know, we got this change the day we were making the announcement that Memphis, Memphis the musical, is actually going to be November 1st through 3rd. Okay, yes. So that kicks off the whole season. Have you ever seen this musical? No, I have not. I've heard really interesting things about it. And our boss, Troy Siebels, he's our executive director, he really, really, really wanted to have this show because he had heard so many great things about it. It was the winner of the 2010 Tony Award for Best Musical. And the theme is turn up that dial, first of all. I like that theme. How about you? Well, yeah, if it's too loud, you're too old. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Although this is taking place from the underground dance clubs of the 1950s Memphis. Oh, okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking that we could do some costumes, some dress up. All right, I digress. I'm sure so, our ushers will have fun with that one. Oh, I know. That's a really good point. Our subscribers probably know, and the rest of you who come to our Broadway subscription shows, Megan Patrick, our operations manager, she does a great job managing our volunteers. We have over 200 people throughout all these different performances, and they dress up and theme for all of our Broadway tours. So I can't wait to see what they come up with for some of these shows. So we have Memphis that kicks it off the beginning of November. Then we move right into Cirque Dreams Holidays. That is November 22nd through 24th. And the nice thing about these Cirque Dreams musicals I don't want to be misleading. They're not Cirque du Soleil, but they're Cirque inspired. And don't audiences Correct. tend to love those? What do you tell people? Um, again, it, it is not Cirque du Soleil. It is a Cirque performance. It is the European um, style of a circus uh, acrobat. And they're, you, they're fantastically beautiful. Right, and you know, the director of Cirque Dreams Holidays is the same director, Neil Goldberg, who created that groundbreaking Broadway hit Cirque Dreams Jungle Fantasy. Do you remember when we, we had that? We did have that one here. Yes, we did. So the things that really distinguish the Cirque type shows, like especially the Cirque Dreams Holidays and the past one, the ones that are directed by Neil Goldberg, is that they tend to be a higher quality than some of the other Cirque shows that are out there. That's very true. From sets to costumes to lighting to sound, the, the, they're absolutely a stunning and the Visually. Was- right. Absolutely. And the Washington Post calls it dazzling. And I can't wait to see what kind of acrobatic feats they come up with in this show. Oh, same here. And then just the put it around the holidays. It's, you know, I'd love to see what they, what magic they come up with. Right. It'll be fun. It'll be yeah. fun to kick off the Nutcracker and our own production of A Christmas Carol. And by the way, subscribers do get first access to that. We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> but then we laugh internally because it seems like it's the year of um, Whoopi Goldberg. We're all Whoopi all the time because we kick off January with Sister Act. Right. Exactly. And we've got Whoopi uh, this upcoming Friday. I know, right? And then we finish our season with Ghost the Musical, which, of course, is based on the movie, and that's in June. In between there, we have Man of La Mancha. You were saying that's one of your favorites. That is one of my favorites, and I'm very excited for that one. Is that the show that you're most excited about out of our six Broadway shows? I think so, only because I've worked the show, not this one, not a touring performance, but I've worked the show before, and I love the music that's in that performance, uh, that that per- show. So, Don uh, Quixote. The, right. And Cervantes. <laughs> it's just absolutely wonderful. I love it when he sings to Dulcinea, too, right? Oh, yes. Exactly. Very nice. That was actually, I was telling Troy in one of our other broadcasts, that was the first musical my parents ever took me to. Oh, wow. It was Man of La Mancha. So, that's special. All right. So, we've got a whole bunch, six really great award winning Broadway musicals that are coming up. We have our renewal campaign that's going on right now. That's correct. But we are also accepting new subscriptions. How does that work? Well, we, um, we are accepting the new subscription orders. And how this works is as they come in, we date stamp them, uh, time and date. And once the renewal, uh, renewing subscribers, their deadline will pass. Any unrenewed seats get released for public sale. We begin processing all the new orders in the date that they were received. Um, we will make all attempts to contact everybody who's put in a new order to discuss some seat options with you. Obviously, there are more popular uh, s- selections. The Friday and Saturday evenings are the most popular. So we obviously would not just seat you and charge your card without at least some semblance of an idea that these would be seats that would f- get, you know fit for you. If there is that crossover where we do find seats where you know, they fit into your 
you know, criteria that you filled out on your forms. We will seat you. We'll let you know which seats are yours. Obviously, we do have time. We can, you know, we'll call you, let you know. If you don't like those, call us. We can easily move them within the package as long as, you know, we have not opened up for sale to the public. We get so much great feedback about the whole team in the box office and the really friendly customer service and how you take the extra time with people. And that's really important because, okay, we do have an online subscription form where you can click online at the hanovertheater.org and you can fill out that online form. But Brendan makes a really good point that it still takes a conversation to confirm, A, that your seats in the location that you want are available and that you exist and you really want it. That's correct, yes. Right, right. So, you know, I think that the renewal deadline is something like May 3rd, right? That's correct, yes. It is a fast turnaround. Um, so, yeah. Well, we give them a month. Hey, in the world of exactly. marketing and PR, that's an eternity. <laughs> oh, Lord, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? The other thing that's nice is we also have the payment plan, right? So That is correct, yes. The pl- payment plan stretched out over the summer. Yep. So it does give you time to, you know, get your ducks in a row and get credit cards all settled away and plan your vacations and pay for those as well. <laughs> well, that's just it because everybody's busy at this time of year and – as we head into summer, I'm thinking about the beach. I'm not necessarily thinking about indoors in the theater for the fall, winter, and next spring. Exactly. But knowing that, okay, so when I submit my subscription order form, I need to make that first payment. I think that, you know, our subscriptions, three equal payments as low as something like $73, something around there. Correct. Which is really affordable when you think about that. And that is per person. And that does include all six shows, which is a huge deal. That's correct. It, it, it's a fantastic value for, you know, that entertainment package. Right. And this year, our subscribers are saving even more per person. I think it goes from 30 to $60 per person. I think that's about the average, yes. Which is great. So I know that sometimes our new subscribers are like, well, if I'm not even going to find out where I'm sitting until after May 3rd, What's the point of me getting my order form in right now? That is true. We do get those those inquiries and a lot of people dragging their feet. But if you get it into us, you're, you're for, closer to the top of the pile. You're sooner to be processed. And, you know, we will get in touch with you sooner to find out before the summer starts where you'll be next season. We're going to take a short break. So stay tuned for more behind the scenes at the Hanover Theater here on AM 830 WCRN. Welcome back to Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater. This is Lisa Conant, and we continue our conversation with Brendan Donilon. So if somebody is really looking for, and they're a new subscriber, the best seats they can possibly get, which performance do you recommend? Uh, Right now, I'd I'd recommend the Sunday evening performances. It was just added last season. So that is still fairly open for new subscriptions. And actually, if you're an existing subscriber and you want to improve your seating, that's probably the best performance to swap into as well. That's correct as well. If you were someone that are disappointed or not disappointed, would like this season to, or next season, to change (laughs) your seat and maybe try a different section in the theater. Again, the Sunday 630 has the most available seating. Right. Okay. So then when do you actually let people know where their seats are going to be? For new subscribers? Yeah. Um, As soon as possible, honestly. Um, If we can get in touch with everybody... You know, we'll seat you live if we have you on the phone, and we'll take care of everything for you. Um, after which, we hope that you get back to us if we have to leave you a message. Right. But again, we can seat live after a certain point, and we'd love to be able to talk through some seat locations with you to get final approval for you. And how long does the whole subscription campaign last? Well, we'll be running this campaign up through... October? Sure, if you want to lead in with October. <laughs> yeah, up through October, right up, right up until after the first performance in the subscription package. Right, because we have two different options for people. We have the six-show package and the five-show yeah. package. So right. I think at this point we probably need to say that we always, well, not always, but we have recently added an incentive for new kids and student subscribers where we offer a 35% discount on those new kids and sub, um, kids and students subscriptions, which is awesome. That is, yes. 
Now, there is some limited availability. We don't see it in the golden circle for those. Right, which is the highest price level. Um, but that's okay. Right, your kid might not make it through the entire performance. Right. And so, you know, we also want to point out that theater, when you have to sit for two to three hours, you really need to look at the maturity level of your own child and how long they're going to be a respectful audience member for everybody that's sitting around you, because remember, everybody is really investing in this form of entertainment. So we go for what, like seven or eight years old is? I would probably put about seven or eight years old once they have the focus and attention span to sit through a live performance that isn't, you know, cartoon characters dancing on stage. <laughs> they you know, but again, everybody knows their own child. Right. I, I attempted Les Mis last night with my five-year-old. Oh, how did that go? Uh, it was late, and he made it to just up into intermission. That's awesome. And fell asleep. Aww. So. <laughs> oh, Les Mis was so great. Did he love the kids in the story? He did. As soon as they came on stage, he grabbed his playbill. Daddy, I can't see. I can't see them, Daddy. We're, I need a light. I need to see the book. That's so cute. Well, I bring up this point because we always have one show that we need to have a parental advisory for. And in this case, Jersey Boys is not really recommended for kids under the age of 12. And that is because, according to the producers, there is, quote, authentic Jersey language. So I think we all know what that means. I think there might be an F-bomb or two. But this is pre-Jersey Shore Jersey language. <laughs> That's true. So, but oh, still. Does that mean they're classier? No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> So keep that in mind. So if there's a show that doesn't agree with your schedule or you think the content might not be appropriate, first of all, if you're getting a subscription, a kid or a student subscription, you can always swap out that one performance and bring in an, uh, another adult yeah, with that, you. Of course. Adults that. night out or evening ex ex escapade, really. Yeah. <laughs> That's always warranted and, and worthy and nice. But if you really, your schedule doesn't allow or you really don't like one of the shows, you can opt out. You and can do opt the, into the five show package. Right. Which is a really great option for people. It is, you know. Um, it, it boils down to, again, what fits into your schedule. If you see one on there that you don't like, it just or you saw it not too long ago, it's a fantastic uh, bargain and available deal. So Right. Now, our subscribers get special benefits, too. They get a basic membership free of charge. They do, which entitles them to early access to tickets on... Just about every other show that we'll be announcing next season. Yep, and most shows have a member discount. And we like to say 99% of the shows on our schedule have a member discount. Right. Of course, Jersey Boys will not be discounted for anybody except for subscribers. Just want to put that out there. So really, if you're looking for the best seats and the best price for Jersey Boys, you need to subscribe. Most of our other shows do have a subscription and a member discount. A Christmas Carol, that's another show where our subscribers get a discounted price, and we are locking in last year's discounted subscription pricing for A Christmas Carol, that annual production, and first available seating. We haven't even announced or decided when we're going to announce, um, well, what I mean to say is put A Christmas Carol on sale to members. Right. So we also haven't decided what the pricing is going to be. We haven't raised the pricing on A Christmas Carol for a couple of years, so it's likely that pricing will go up, but our subscribers are locking and in. They're locking in last they're year's prices before so they that's go a, up. Yeah, that's a great deal. We also have a whole host of early subscriber incentives, and the date for that is April 18th, by the end of the day, April 18th. And that's a special day for us, too. That is. Because we have our big preview party on April 18th from 5 to 7. Joyce Kohawick, who's been on this program before, will be hosting that. We're also going to have cast members from Jersey Boys come on for a Q&A. Maybe a sneak performance. We're not sure. Maybe. Ooh. Just to whet everybody's <laughs> appetite so they know that you know this is a really great show. We anticipate that we're going to have between 30 and 40 of our cultural and retail and business partners at the theater offering free tastes of food, beverages, It'll be a lot of fun. Last year was really great. We also give away a front row subscription to the Sunday evening performance of yep. our the whole series, so all six shows. You have to be present to win, and we do that drawing that night, so you'll know right away whether you have. You can also stop by the box office. Remember to swipe your Woo card That's for correct. double points, <laughs> which is always fun. 
So there is a lot going on. There are a lot of questions. If people have questions, they can always go to our website, thehanovertheater.org, or call the box office. Call us at the box office, 877-571-SHOW. That's 877-571-7469. All our staff would be happy to answer any questions for you. They really will be. And I can tell you, they all smile while they're talking. You can tell. Oh, you can yeah. tell on the other end of the phone. <laughs> I swear. It's true. And then if you come, actually, if you come to our box office in person for individual shows, you actually save on the fees. That's correct, yes. The handling fees that are applied online over the phone are waived. Oh, it's wonderful. So any last-minute tips you want to give people in how you can get the best seats for your subscription or just dealing with the box office in general? Um, for the subscriptions, just be patient with us. We are working through a very long line of uh, renewing subscribers, and then we have to process our change orders, which we, takes us a couple of days. But we will, if you've got your order in as a new subscriber, we will be in touch. Well, I'm glad you said that because they are very thorough. They're very thoughtful. They give every single person the attention that they deserve. They focus on every order as they take it so be patient because when it's your turn, you're going to receive that same level of quality service from Brendan, Brian, Nadia, Amal, Julie, Beverly, and Terry. And Terry. Terry is our newest, right? Maybe. Uh, yes, yes. She's she our is. newest. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> she's, uh, yeah. We're family in there, so. It's it, all it, good. And it, they it, remain cheerful in a very small space. So <laughs> be patient with them. They'll love you. And everybody, we appreciate your support, and we'll see you at the theater. Thanks for we'll joining see you us. At the theater. Thanks Thank for you, Lisa. joining us, Brendan. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.